everyone. Good morning. Hi, Miss Catherine. Hi, Boomer. Hey, oh, Boomer. Hi, Stacy. How's it going? Good. Did you have a good Christmas? Yes, I did. Yay. Glad I'm glad to, to hear that. We're glad to have you with us today, Stacy. Glad to have every one of you with us here today, too. Hope y'all had a good Christmas. I hope so. Well, it's getting to be that time of year when people start to... Easter? Not quite. <laughs> no, this, we're winding down this year, almost through, with 2020. Thank heavens. Yes. And getting ready for... 2021. 2021. Yay! Yeah. 2021. Well, this is the time of year when people start to do something called resolutions. Do you know what those are? Um... Like, um, you make a promise to yourself, like, um, or, like, I might, um, try to finish my game, um. Your sentences? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my sen something like my that. Sen <laughs> my sentences, my games. Yeah. Lots of people make promises to themselves. Why? They call them resolutions. Well, they really, they try to, uh, maybe improve themselves in some way. Some people will want to lose weight and be healthier. Some people will say, no, I'm going to read more books and learn something new this year. So that's what a resolution really is. And it's like Stacy said, it's a promise we make to ourselves. Oh, oh, I got one. What? I will promise not to dig in the neighbor's garden. That's very good. Can you keep that promise? I can try. Yeah, that's right. We can always try. And that's the idea, is you're going to try to keep the promise. But because we make it to ourselves, we go, eh, what if I don't? It's no big deal. But it is a big deal when we make a promise to ourselves to keep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think? totally. You should always keep your promises. Yes, well, I'll tell you what. God always keeps His promises. Yes, He does. Yes, He does. The Bible tells us a story about a man named Simeon. Are you surprised? No, no. No. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Would you like to hear the story? Okay. The man named Simeon, and he lived a long time. He was <laughs> actually a very old man, and he, was, he always went to the temple every day to worship. God had made him a promise a long time before that he would not die before he had seen Jesus Christ, the oh. Messiah. So he was getting very old. Well... A few days after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple because they wanted to dedicate him to God. Parents did that. Oh. In that day. So, as soon as okay. they brought Jesus into the temple and Simeon saw him, he knew that was the Messiah. And he You're held, kidding. No. He held the baby and he said, "Thank you, Lord, for making me the promise that now I've seen the baby Jesus, I can die happy. But how did he know? He just did. It's one of a lot of you hear this a lot in the Bible, where somebody just sort of knows something, and we don't really understand why. Huh. Yeah. But but uh, there's another woman. Her name was Anna. Mm -hmm. She was there too. Oh. And she heard Simeon say this, and she looked at the baby, and she said the same thing. It's the Messiah. It's the Christ. And she ran out and told everybody she saw. The Messiah is here. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Did he have a tattoo that said that? No. No. I don't really know. You know what it might have been, Boomer? It might have been something kind of holy about the baby. You know? Like like the spirit? Something like that. That yeah. holy spirit you talk about? I think that might have been what it was. Wow. You think? Maybe. Maybe so. I don't know. But one thing we do know. We do know that when God makes a promise, whether it was to Simeon or to you or you or me or anyone else, yes. he'll keep it. Yes, he, yes will. he will. Even if we have to wait for our entire life to see it, we will see Ugh. it. Soon. That would be hard. <laughs> That's right. And God has made us another promise. Oh? Right. Mm -hmm. He's made us a promise that Jesus would come back. And he will keep that promise. And it will probably be like every Christmas. When, when we celebrate, like, with friends and family. That's right. It's all, always in our heart, isn't it? Yes. That's right. Well, why don't we pray? Okay. Do you have to pray? Okay. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for always being with us. And we know that God will always keep his promises. 
maybe we should try to always keep our promises that we make. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, I have another resolution. Oh, really? What? I'm going to chase every cat I see. <laughs> well, what those cats may say, they're going to get every dog they see. Oh, no. Nah, they're not that organized. <laughs> no. no. Oh, I think Unless, they can You think they're away. teaming up with the squirrels? Oh. Oh, oh no. no. That would be bad. Bye. 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 In a rough, in a rough, in a rough, rough, rough. <laughs> rock. This has been a cat and dog production.